Jesus died so we might live. Amen. Text will serve as based on our message is our Old Testament lesson from Isaiah 66, verses 18 to 23. Dear friends in Christ, week after week we gather for the purpose of worship. We are a congregation that has a place in this neighborhood as well as in this community. We are a congregation that is part of something bigger than what we experience on the local level. Part of the nomination, part of God's church that connects us to Christians around the globe and Christians of all ages. You see, in the midst of routine, it's easy to become complacent or to take for granted the power and purpose of being God's people gathered around His Word. But the prophet Isaiah opens our eyes to see how remarkable God's work through the church truly is. We are blessed to be a gathering of God's people. Now God guided us around His Word, and we have come from every direction. We have come here from east and west, north and south. Some of you came all the way here on city streets. Some of you came through country roads. Some took the highway. If we have come from all these directions, just picture all the places from around the world from which God gathers people to Himself. God gathers people who are very different. We represent a wide variety. We are different age groups, different cultures. We have a diversity of occupations represented. We have a plethora of hobbies and interests. On top of that, we have family situations, previous life experiences, and ways we interact with others. God even gathers sinners. You see, even more remarkable than God's ability to bring together those who are different is His willingness to bring together those who have something in common. Sin. It's our nature from birth. We break His commandments. We place our trust elsewhere. We love self more than helping others. But God transforms us by His Word. In Christ, sinners stand in God's presence, clothed in forgiveness, righteousness, holiness, purity that is ours for faith in Jesus. This Jesus secured for us on the cross. This Jesus gives to us in the means of grace. We are the body of Christ in this place. And we function together as we worship. One part plays the organ. One reads the Old Testament lesson. One does the liturgy and the sermon. One part hands out the bulletins. One part prepares the Lord's Supper. One part is in the nursery. One part lights the candles. All sing and participate in the liturgy. The body hears the absolution together and gathers at the Lord's altar. In Christ, He joins the different parts into one body. Our differences are sealed with a unity that allows them to be used in service to one another. Today is our church picnic, and we see that reality. It takes many different volunteers doing so many different tasks for the building up of God's people. We grow as we worship and then fellowship together. God sends us out with His Word. You see, God's plan and desire is that all nations and tongues would be gathered to His presence. Gathered from every corner of the earth. Gathered as brothers and sisters. Gathered in continual worship. The church is God's instrument. Sent in and where He sends us to the world. To declare His glory to all nations. Globally, the church is taking the gospel to every tribe and tongue, every religion and false religion. We have overseas missionaries. We have Bible translators, and we are blessed to have a family from Lutheran Bible translators coming here to Good Shepherd to share their work on September 15th. We participate in God's mission at the congregational level. Support for international efforts by prayer, finances, 
We support seminary students who will take their God-given talents to a church and to the church. In our community, we reach out to international students and other groups who have never heard the gospel. We don't have to travel to Tarshish or Paul or Bud to participate in God's mission for the church when his mission is everywhere around us. This past week, I was blessed by our Lord once again to see the power of the gathering of God's people. On Wednesday, I attended the funeral of Stacy Dow's father of Coburn Lutheran Church in Decatur, my home church. I went with my dad and mom. Now, my mom had not been to church in quite a while because of the progression of her cancer. The outpouring of love and care from her fellow brothers and sisters was a sight to behold. We sat in the back of the church in front of Pastor Abbott Sr.'s wife, and my mom commented to her on all the cards of encouragement, the other things that have lifted her spirit. What a blessing! And we have that here as well. How do I know? I see it constantly. My mom has also received a card from many of you, and also from the kids of our Sunday school. And my mom does appreciate all of them. And I also learned on Wednesday that I'm much better emotionally conducting a funeral than sitting at one. You see, as my mom said in the back, I thought about my family sitting up front, walking behind the casket, listening to a law gospel sermon. And I talked with my mom about her funeral on the way to the gravesite. What wonderful strength we draw as God's people. His word gives us hope. His sacrament gives us peace and comfort. The fellowship of God's people is an encouragement, and that is why we gather. We're part of something bigger than ourselves. Someday we will enjoy the gathering of God's people in the endless heavenly banquet. So go east, go north, go west, go south, into your communities and neighborhoods and workplaces and schools and clubs and parks and homes as forgiven and spirit-filled children of God declaring His glory.